Hey middle schoolers, Mrs. Bellum here to get you started with essay formatting with a Works Cited page. You likely will already have your Google Doc created for you in Schoology, but if you need to create your own document, you can do so in Google Drive. Make sure that you name your document using capital letters for the title. Once you have a name, you are going to click inside the text and then select the font. Uh, standard is Times New Roman, size 12, and set the spacing to double. Click on Insert, select Page Numbers, and then choose the bottom right-hand corner. Then scroll up to the top, select Insert again, click on Header, and then you will type your first name, last name, your teacher's name, the assignment title, and then the date. Select the different first page button so that we can delete this item from following pages. To format the margins, click File and scroll to Page Setup. If not already set to 1 inch, please type over all of the margins and then click OK. Next, we are going to center for our title. Type your title, making sure it's capitalized, and then click Enter a few times. Then go back to the alignment and select Left Alignment. Click Tab to indent your first sentence. Standard five paragraph essay formatting has indents before each paragraph. An introductory paragraph, a first main point, a second main point, a third main point, and a conclusion. You will notice that our header has shown up again here. Because we selected different first page header, we can now delete that so it doesn't take up that chunk of the top of the page. Once you finish writing your paper, you will click Enter until you get to the top of a fresh page. Then you will click Tools, Citations, and Add Citation Source. Select Website and type in Google.com just to help create the page. Click Continue until you get to the Insert Works Cited page, and you will now have a template to work with as you insert your citations from other sources. If you watched my last video, you have probably gathered your citations in a Google Doc. You will want to find that document and copy those citations into your paper. You will notice that the color and the font are different. Highlight the whole thing. Again, select Times New Roman 12 font. Make sure that the text is set to black and turn off any highlighting. To cite a print book, hit Enter, click Tools and Citations. Add Citation Source, select Book, Print, and then paste in the ISBN. You should be able to search it and continue clicking Enter until your citation is added. This may duplicate some of the information that has already been added, so feel free to delete anything that you don't need. The next step is to alphabetize our Works Cited page. As you can see in this example, we need to move the citation with the author's last name C to the top. Then I am grabbing the author with the last name of N and moving that to the middle. As you do this, make sure that you delete any extra spaces that are added. To format the hanging indent of your citations, scroll to the second line of a citation, hit enter, and then tab over. When you do this, this will make the author's last name stick out, creating the hanging indent. 
If you have a multiple line citation, you may have to play around with deleting, tabbing, and indents to get them to line up. Double check your spelling and grammar by clicking on Tools and then click Spelling and Grammar Check. This will go through your entire paper line by line, highlighting the red wavy lines and giving you a chance to decide if you need to correct the spelling and grammar. If there is a word that you believe is spelled correctly, you can choose Ignore and that will get rid of the red lines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to submit your final paper to Turnitin or to the Schoology assignment per your teacher's directions.